Charlie gets very excited every morning. He loves to see the kookaburras. They don't seem bothered by him. They just look down at him and say, yeah, yeah, you can't reach me. But he still dances up and down every morning, wanting to look at them. Oh, hello, you've come too, have you? This is the baby butcher bird. All right, Cookie, let's give you some food. Just got some um, leftover dog food from last night. I always give them the leftover food so nothing's wasted. Charlie, you can settle down now. That's a big piece, is it? Can you handle it? Oh, down the hatch, okay. Let me pop that up there like that. Now I can zoom out a little bit. Charlie boy, settle down. There's Charlie and Bronte and Izzy, Ruby, little black one Zoe. Oh, there's some more. We've got another kookaburra come up for Brecky. And a butcher bird. Here we go, you guys. Some food for you. Oh, a baby butcher bird just pinched one. Here we go, Cookie. He can have this bit. There you go. How's that? All right, thank you. Yes, I know. Nice way to say thank you, isn't it? Just fly away. G'day guys, welcome back. I'm going to do a flip cup pour on my new canvas. I've got some of these from Spotlight. Uh, Spotlight's just started stocking with these round canvases. So yeah, this one's a 30 centimetre. I got them when they were on special. And I've just put my big push pins underneath. There we go. 30 centimetres, what's that in inches? 12, 12 inches, I think. Hmm. Now, if you saw my last pour, I was practicing with my new Sargent paints. I got these from Amazon. I got them through Amazon Prime, so I got free shipping to Australia. Got the silver and I've got the um, the gold, so I'm going to use those two today. The first video I did with these, um, I mixed them up too thick. So then I did another one and I was going for the diagonal and it was so pretty, I couldn't do it. So it was just like a normal half diagonal, half flip cup. And I thought, right, I'm going to go again just with the flip cup. So I'm using those two paints and the global black. So I've got them here. I've had 40 grams of pouring medium and 40 grams of silver. I have 60 grams of pouring medium and 60 grams of gold and the black I've got 50 grams of pouring medium and 50 grams of black actually I think it was about 55 grams of pouring medium and 50 grams of black just to make it a little bit more on the thin side and my pouring medium same one I've been using lately um, 60% glue 40% water I've just been finding that when I was doing the 70-40, a 70-30, with a lot of my global paints, because some are so thick, some are so thin, I had to change my ratios of paint and add more water, and I thought, this is silly, I'm just going to make my mix thinner and stick to one to one. So that's what I did. Treadmill silicone uh, for cells. Now this is a 300, as I said, 300 millimeter or 30 centimeters so I'm going 300 grams of mixed paint see how that goes so when you add them up they're about 300 grams so for 300 mil try it like that see how we go right oh how many drops will we put in I think you can have three drops because you're only half a cup and you each can have four
shoe fly fly buzzing around me um so what's that eight nine ten eleven actually this one can have another one because it's a fuller cup get in there right now stir really well i don't want any worms from the blob of silicone stretching out so i'm just going to do the big flip cup today one big flip cup hopefully it'll be really pretty I'm loving these paints it's always a bonus we can get free shipping isn't it so yeah and initially i could only find them in the little containers uh, like this i'll show you one oh little ones like that but it was just so much more economical to get the big guy because I'll use it. I bought two of each bottle. So they're two litre bottles. I bought two golds and two silvers. Righto. I've sprayed my cup with oil. I've mixed my silicone in. Shall I show you the consistency of this metallic? It's really hard to see because it's a metallic. So it just acts differently. It doesn't pour off. See, that's stopping already. So, yeah, normally I would let it drip for eight seconds, but the metallics, they're just different. Still leaves a little ribbon on top. But that's it there. One to one ratio with my pouring medium. Righto, so I'll start layering. And what I want to do is I want to put a little bit of black between these two because I don't think those together will make nice cells so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour down uh, last time I did this it kind of dripped straight through see it's sort of falling straight through I guess I could have another go at it and then I just want to put a little bit of black over that the last one I did I I did a I poured down the side like I do when I'm doing ring pours I put a little bit of black in between so a good amount of metallic and then a little bit of black just to give the cells some pop. You need your light against your dark, you guys know that, I've been telling you long enough. So I don't think that silver and gold, oops, I did it, nearly put them on top of each other to separate them with a little bit of black. And then a good amount of silver again. A little drizzle of black. Good amount of gold. See, I increased the gold this time because I found that my last pour still seemed a little bit too silver. And I guess the black and the silver made it look a little bit more on the silver side. So that's why I decreased my silver just by a touch this time and increased the gold. Just, I just felt that the gold was a bit lost. Do you want me to show you the one I'm talking about? I'll go and get it. Hang on, let me wipe my hands. Let's move that to the side. I'll show you the one I'm talking about in case you missed it. That's it there. See, it's relatively a silver background. The gold didn't show up a lot. It did because I balloon dipped it, um, but that's why I've cut down on the silver this time. I just thought that that one was a little bit too greyish looking for me. All right, let's finish this layering. A little bit of black. Rest of the gold. I don't have to put any black on my corners today. Woohoo! No corners. It's a good thing about doing a round canvas. You do a round flip cup, you do a round canvas. And um, it's good. And a little bit of black. 
that's enough. I don't think I need to scrape it out. Rightio. Let's flip this baby over. You can just sit there for a minute. Dirtied my clean pedal pad already. These are great, these. And if you're doing a long canvas, they've got these tapes on the back and it's sticky underneath, so you can stick two together if you're doing a really long canvas and extend your length of coverage underneath. Just makes it so much easier to clean up. And I'll use this a few times. I'll do a few pours over it when I'm practicing. When I'm doing a, a clean video, <laughs> clean video, I, um, I'll get a clean one for you. Righto, let's flip this over. So I don't really, I'll just move that bit so that I, when it, I flip it over, I've got a little bit more room, but I don't really want to drag it, I just want to flip it. Let me get rid of that. Rightio. Cells already, hey, look at those. Woohoo. I'll just move this around just a touch. And then I'll torch. So it looks as if I'm going to get pretty big cells. Okay, where's my torch? Here's my big boy torch. Got a fresh tin on. A butane. It might spit a bit because he's new. There he goes. Come on, do your thing. Turn him down a bit. When you get a fresh can on, they do kind of flame a little bit, so you just have to be really careful. Make sure you've got a fire extinguisher handy if you're using these big guys. Now, I don't want to get too close. Minimal torching. Got a bit close here. There's quite a lot there, but let's just see what happens. like a few more just over here. They're looking good. Only little at this time, the ones that I've torched to come up. The others just popped up on their own. I just need my little bamboo skewer. I can see some bubbles. And obviously I can't get close enough to pop the bubbles, otherwise I would just get a million cells and caterpillars, so I can't get too close. I guess the flame's about that, you know, six inches off the surface. All right, that'll do. I'll have to tilt this off first, this bit here, it's got that blobby bit, that's where the cup sort of, the leftover of the cup went there so it's a bit blobby so we'll get rid of that first and I think I'll just go around in a circle I'm not sure whether to go around in a circle or go that way come back go that way come back that way come back I'll, I'll have to try out both and see which gives me the best result I guess but for now I'm just going to go down here So quiet in here today because the weather's cooled down a little bit. I don't need my air conditioner on. And um, well, I turn the radio off when I'm taping because I'm not allowed to have music on in my videos, not unless you've paid for the music. I can just hear the clock going tick, tick, <laughs> tick in the background. Um, I've got no dogs in here with me either today. Just going to take it really slow because I want a pretty pull. And I've got to make sure that I go over the edge. Am I going over the edge? I've got to go over the edge while you're here because you're not going to have room or enough paint to come back. So while you're over at this side, you really need to get your sides covered. we 
go. I have to go around there and see if they've covered. Yep, they have. You guys can see, I can't see. Turn it. So there's a lot more gold in this one now, obviously. I, I reduced the silver and I put more gold in and I've certainly got more gold this time. And I also get, I guess it's a different effect because I drizzled instead of the last one I poured down the side. So I'm getting a different effect as well because of that. Let that little blob go. Stop just before that pretty cell. Move it around. Do the next section. See, while you've got the weight of the paint there, it's where you need to keep going. I think I've just got this bit, haven't I? Oh, to here, yep. I'll have to go around and see where I'm up to. Here. Let's see if we can get that blob to go. But then there's another blob as well. Don't think I'll let him go. I haven't got enough paint to let him go. I think I'm pretty much covered now, aren't I? I wonder if I can get rid of that blob. So the cells are still relatively small, so I should be able to move the paint a bit more. Just bringing the paint to the centre and then taking it that way so I can get that blob off. gone I might even do the same with that other one what do you think I'm surprised I haven't got very much in the way of definite black rings around them do I have it on my other one mm, not so much they're each different now what do I want to do do I want to get rid of that blob there or not I think I can Let's get the weight of the paint to go back towards that blob. Still moving relatively well. So it's still flowing off quite easily. There he goes. Goodbye, blob. Okay, now I'm going to bring the weight of the paint back into the middle. Just don't want it all over to the side. Just check my composition. Look at that. How pretty is that? Metallics, as I said before, don't look that great when they're wet, but once this dries, woohoo, watch out. Wouldn't mind doing another one with me layer, pouring the paints down the side because I did get a different effect. This is more blurred and the other one was a lot more um, like definite blocks of colour. So it'd be interesting to see whether or not that was because of the way I layered the paint or not. But I'm just going to leave it there and I'm not going to torch anymore because I like the background. And yeah, I think it's really pretty. What do you reckon? Would have liked it more if I had some definite rings around my cells and with the black. But I've got silver rings around gold. Little thin rings, got thin rings around. Look at that. That one's got a few colours in it. Look at that. See that one down there? That one's got a really dark black ring around it. I wonder how that one's got it and the others don't. Hmm. I'll do another one and layer, pour the paints down the side and see if I get a, a different look. Now I need my little tool. My little tool. And just go around. It's a bit awkward because the canvas has been puckered on the bottom. It's sort of been folded over on itself and stapled. So it's a bit bumpy. It's not a smooth finish under there. So that was 300 grams of mixed paint. That was enough, wasn't it? Like, it wasn't too much. I guess I could have had a little bit less and stretched my cells more. Um, that would have made them grow a little bit more. Let's 
cells. I do like my big cells. I like big cells and I cannot align. Let's see what I can do. Get them any bigger. So get that big black blob off. And just see if I can stretch some of these babies out a little bit more. Like so. But you've got to be careful because you don't want to stretch things out too much because then the cells lose their round shape and they become elongated. Okay, so that's that's enough. I'm happy with that. These just opened up a little bit more. See there's a little bit more space between them, a little bit more background showing. And it's just matching what's up this end. Although these ones go away, fly. Don't you sit in my painting. I'm going to swat you in a minute. You just wait. I'm going to swat you. Yes, I am. Okay. Righty. Oh, let's leave it at that. I'm happy with that. Wouldn't that make a lovely clock? It's a bit small for a clock, though, I think. I think if you're going to have a clock, you're going to have a big clock, you know. 50 centimetres. I can't see the point of having a 30 centimetre clock, personally. I like to do things big to make a statement. Right, let's take you down for a close-up. So they're pretty cells, hey? As I said, I would have liked them to have more of a dramatic ring around them. I mean, it's just the colours. Maybe I can try my Artist Loft Black instead of the Global Black and see if I get a different look from that. And let me just turn my light off here. Is that better? Got a big spotlight. Just want to get an accurate colour for you. Pretty, eh? Hey? But once it dries, I think it'll be yeah, much much nicer because the colours will be nice and bright, metallics will be nice and shiny, but we'll still have that beautiful background. So there you go. Hope you've enjoyed that. Please subscribe to my channel, hit the little bell, and you'll be notified every time I get a new video in. You can watch it, try these new things out. So yeah, I'm really happy with this one. And um, But yeah, I'll go again and I'll layer my paints, pour them down the side and we'll see if there's any difference. So watch out for that one. All right, see you for then. See you for that one. <laughs> Bye for now.